hi thank you for being here in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i achieved this puff sleeves with rope so let's dive right into the video so guys before we get into the sewing and cutting let's do a quick calculation go ahead and measure your round armhole using your tip from one point to the other round so what i have is 17.5 17.5 this 17.5 i'm going to divide it by 3.14 now 3.14 is the radius of a semi circle the semi um circum this is a semi circumference um so what i have to do if you want a full circle you're going to use 6 point to it but i don't want that's if you want your sleeve to be very full but i don't want it to be too full so i'm going to be using a semicircle and the radius for that is 3.14 so i'm going to divide this by 3.14 and that will give me 5.6 approximately so now this 5.6 i need some pleats around the armhole of my sleeve if you don't want pleats this is okay but because i want pleats i'm going to be adding some things i'm going to be adding like 2.4 okay i'm just randomly picking 2.4 to make this a whole number so i'm going to add plus 2.4 that will give me 8 okay so this is the radius of our armhole okay this is the radius of our armhole circumference this is a radius 8 so now the length of the sleeve i will be working with i want it to be 10 inches but because it's a puff sleeve it needs to go up you know at least for it to have some level of volume to puff up better i'm going to be adding four inches to it so um the length of my sleeve is 10 inches i'm going to be adding four inches to it so that's going to be 14 inches so 14 inches plus 8 inches so now what I, I want to do now is determine the amount of fabric to fold so i'm going to add this 14 inches plus 8 inches that's 22 plus 8 inches which is the radius of our armhole circumference is going to give us 22 okay and also one other thing the sleeve is going to have a band of two inches so i'm going to remove that from here minus two inches so we are going to have 20 inches so this is what we're going to be folding so let's get into the folding of the fabric So I've gone ahead to make my fold this 20 inches. Remember, we are working with 20 inches. So I have 20 inches here. And also make sure your fabric is long enough to reach 20 inches at this point. So you need up to 20 inches here and 20 inches here. So I'm going to go ahead to mark the radius which is eight inches so from this point again i'm going to mark 20 inches So these are 20 inches. Okay. And if you mark it from here to here, you see that you have um, 12 inches. I have 12 inches at that point. 
so if i add the two inches of the band making it 14 inches which is the initial length that i wanted so now you come here and add half inch okay add half inch for your sewing allowance so this is it guys the next thing i'm going to go on and cut it out so i've gone ahead i've cut it out and this is how it looks this is it i cut out two of it this is the second one for each sleeve i also went ahead to cut my band 2.5 in length in width and then just make um, use of how much length you want this is like 29 in length you can go for a longer length okay so i'll go to my sewing machine first and gather i'm going to gather here i'm going to gather here and then gather it little at this point then i'll come back and show you so let me notch i'm going to notch the midpoint of this of the sleeve okay notching is just like cutting it so this is what notching looks like just give it a notch there i'll do same thing to this one and i'll go over and gather it up on my sewing machine so i've gone ahead to run a straight a, a loose stitch here and here so what you need to do just pick one of the thread just pick one of the thread and begin pulling okay this is how to gather your fabric you run a loose stitch on your fabric and you pull can see it's taking shape so now i've also gathered the other one so now i'm going to go over to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew this place i'll turn it the wrong face like this okay and i'll so using half an inch like this and down now the round sleeve that i'm working with is 11 inches so I, I already marked 11 inches at this point so from the middle make sure you get the middle of this band of the rope so i have 11 inches from this point to this point so i'm going to turn this side over like this to the wrong face and i'm going to sew like this I will stop at this mark of 11 inches here i'll do the same thing at the other side stop at the mark of the 11 inches i'll show you how it is so i'm gonna head to stitch it together to stitch this leaf together using half inch i did same for the other sleeve as well so this is the rope like i earlier explained I've turned it and I have 11 inches. I have 11 inches opened here. But this place is neatly sewn in and turned. So, what with this 11 inches now? I'll go over to my sewing machine. At this point where I join the sleeve, I'm going to connect the midpoint of this rope as well i'll connect the midpoint and i'll sew it i'll stitch it 
I'll stitch it to this place stitch this one to this side then I'm going to cover the seam using this part of using this part of the rope of the band using this half inch here to cover the rough edges I'm done <clears throat> attaching the band and this is what we have this is how it looks so I placed the band from the wrong face stitched it round and I brought out the right face and I top stitched like stitched on the band you know and just to hide all the rough edges so you can see there is no rough edge showing and it's done neatly so this is our rope we tie it like this so the next thing is to attach it to the dress but before doing that i want us to do one thing at the armhole okay at the armhole here i'll be going down by let's say two inches i'll go down by two inches here because if you don't do this and you're done stitching the down part is going to you can already see how it is it's already looking longer than the up so we are going to reduce this so it can align properly you can use 1.5 to 2 inches so that's what i'm going to do or oh, just reduce it to 1.5 yeah. let me use 1.5 so I'll cut it, connect, connecting it to this other part, just like that. So I'll do the same thing with the I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. And this is what we have after attaching the sleeves to the dress. This is how our puffy, our puff sleeve came out. So if you want to achieve this kind of look, go on and use the method I showed you in the video. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment.